you wash between your bum cheeks. Yet, then make sure that you click the subscribe button below and join the revolution so as you can see I'm not alone I'm with somebody's man crush Monday and look at you I'm with a Congolese king for the baby tell the people who you are hi guys um, welcome to our YouTube channel what on the strip I'm Andre, better known as Kanye J, and yeah, thank you so much B, for having me. So guys, in today's video, we are doing a video about asking a guy questions that you've always wanted to know, but maybe haven't had the opportunity to ask. Now, let me start off by saying that no one man can speak for the entire man, gender, people, people, men, the nation. Yeah. The nation. So the point I'm trying to make is obviously this is Andre's perspective and his opinion. So if you have a difference in opinion, then just comment down below. But do not expect for him to accurately speak for all men in the entire freaking universe yeah. and multiverse, yes. like the Flash. Yeah. Are you ready? I'm ready? Let's go. Some of them are going to be uncomfortable. I hope you're ready. Let's go. I'm here. <laughs> I'm here. There's no turning back. I'm here. The, the door's locked. You the first question is. Why is it so difficult to forgive cheating? Going right into it. We want to know. Because when men oh. cheat, we must forgive. You must pray for your husband. When a, a woman cheats, no. Forgiveness is gone. Okay. Um, do I go deep or do I... Okay, let, let, let me just go for it. Um, I, think, I think, you know, like... I, I would say that, you know, as men, I don't think we're as emotional beings as females are. So we're not too in, we're not so, I don't want to say emotional, but we're not that emotionally in tune, you know, with our, with ourselves, you know, obviously there's so many reasons why, for one, like society say, you know, well, boys don't cry and mm. big boys do this and uh, all these like stereotypes and stuff. So. Um, with that being said, you know, it's something, it's cheating is devastating, guys. Like, it's something that is emotional. And for us that aren't so emotional beings, once something like that happens, I think it just, it, we don't know what to do. Therefore, we just don't know how to accept it. You mm. know? And it's not, not, I'm not saying this because I'm saying like women should just accept it because they're, they're more understanding of like how the, the feelings and stuff like that. But this is something new, like, I would say it's new for us and we just don't we just don't know how to take it and we're just like okay t how do I even forgive because like this may like this makes me feel this way and I, I've never felt this way and what do I do when I feel this way there's just so many questions so yeah with that being said we just can't <laughs> so would you forgive cheating um. <laughs> <laughs> I think it depends on the level of relationship. Like, if if I was in a relationship, like, yeah, like, there's no. I, no, I, I promise, like, and even even it's, it, it was. It, I don't think. I think no. It's what, what I'm hearing is, and like, really, guys, no. Yeah, no, sure. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Do you think maybe, like, as men, right? You make a more logical decision so you look at the facts and you make a decision yes whereas women will yes logic is there but your feelings and emotions can overcome yes. logic that's that's that that that's why I brought, I brought it back to how we're not so emotionally like mm. um, in tune with mm. ourselves so with us it's more mind over mat like mind over heart mm. rather than you guys are like i oh, know listen to my heart we don't listen like we look at the, like okay you just did this with this person yeah. and in my head when you do something that you're supposed to be doing with me, with someone else, I, I, it's wrong. So yeah. uh, maybe you would look and say, no, but you know, I, I, I felt this way and I felt that way. And just, yeah, yeah, I think, yeah, it's just, we just think with our head. Do boys wipe after they have peed? 
yeah. I feel like you need to like you, you, the, the, I don't know who have they not taught that like I'll speak for myself. It, 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 you need to you need to otherwise it's gonna be like like what if you didn't empty the tank as much now you have like just this yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 guys <laughs> just why <laughs> listen guys just 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 why for hygiene's sake why just do it. So like after you do your little wiggle thing, you yeah. take tissue and you just like dab 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 or, yeah, just like, or you wipe the whole thing? Yeah, like you, not, not the whole thing, just like a young t- 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 oh. Do you wash between your bum cheeks? Hold up, wait a minute. You're in my business? Yeah, don't do that. Definitely. Because I heard some, do you know, I, read, I was reading with where like some guys actually do not wash between their, their like bum cheeks. Nah, guys. You know, you is that a thing? You God, it, it should be a thing. Like that, that shouldn't even be a question. No, I mean, is it a thing where people don't watch it? Like, do you have homeboys who I've heard? <laughs> <laughs> How would I know what's happening? How would I know that my homeboys never watch it? Oh no, did someone do that? No, I, no comment, guys. No, no comments. No comment. I, I, I can't answer it. I really, I'm sorry. Wow. Oh. <laughs> Woo. Okay. Um, I don't know. I don't know about. I don't know about about them. Um, however, you need to wash it. Like, you dog. You, you. It's. It's. You need to know. It, it needs to be clean, man. Like, guys, clean the thing, man. Like, clean the. Thing. Like, I don't. Yeah. Like you ruined my mind. Be. Oh my god. <laughs> oh boys. Oh my god. No. <laughs> I'm just trying to recover from that. Sorry, guys. Um, but yeah, clean it, clean it. Like. And that's on period. How do men feel about stretch marks? Stretch marks. Yeah. Um, on us or on no, us? on women. There's, there's two types of people, obviously, in, in, in this situation. Um, one one of them um, seeing stretch marks as like a flaw or a scar, whatever the case is. Um, and then the second group of people are the ones that actually embrace it, and it's just like, wow, like you you are something else you know? so um i'm gonna speak for myself because obviously i do not fall in the line of um group a um so yeah group b where we embrace i personally feel like a scar i'm sorry not a scar sorry um, a stretch mark rather is um you know it, it obviously you don't also have to remind it oh my gosh your stretch marks look so nice no like she knows <laughs> like she she has them she it's there but um it's like for me i see i'm like wow like you know it's 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 something that you know it just it just adds on to your like you, you know like this queen like you're you, have you ever seen like a like a lady that's you know like she's like a queen like a battle queen you know like she's gone through war and she's like conquered and all i know i'm going too deep with it but i just see it that way and she's like this queen and you know she just has all the 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 the, the, the necessary features to show her queenship you know and for me, I just I take it as something really. It's 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 just something really nice. It's 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 beautiful. Like, it's really beautiful. Let's get into that one. Yeah. I've read I've read that, and we always see it online. She's a queen. It's her battle scars. I I see the poetry behind it, right? But but my question is, is that really, really and truly how you feel? And what I say is, what I mean by that is, do you really look at them and you're like, wow, or or are you just like when I see stretch marks, I don't think wow and queen or king. I just think it's just stretch marks, guys. It's a body. Bodies grow, bodies change, and it happens. You know, I don't mind them. I don't. I, I used to because I when you know the fat shaming in, in all societies, not even black or in all societies, makes you unprovoked. Someone will be like, why don't you go buy buyer oil? You know. But what I'm trying to say is, for me, when I see stretch marks. I just see it's not a big deal it's just a stretch mark do you really see it and think wow or is it just it's like, just a normal body part yeah you know when i'm speaking when i'm speaking about like how i explained earlier i'm i'm, I'm more so about like um the, the sentimental part of it not mm. like the physical mm. yes it, it, it's stretch marks like mm. it, it's it's there mm. however there's so many people that went through like other people said no i've gained weight and now my goal is to lose weight mm. stretch marks some stretch marks are cause of the, the, the loss of weight and that's yeah. maybe a goal of yours. Yeah. So I admire yeah. the fact that you yeah. have um, taken the decisions like, you know what, yes, I, I was a certain weight, but mm. my goal was to trim down. Yes, I trimmed down and this is what I have, you know, um, 
um, as a reminder of like all the sacrifice and everything mm. that made. So when I speak about that queen, when I speak about the battle, I don't, know, mm. I don't speak about, oh my gosh, she literally went through some battle in 1892. No, you literally went through a, a mental battle, battle that, yeah, you're like, you know what, I'm going to take this decision to lose weight. And I know that these, you know, stretch marks will be there. Yeah. And you, like, you don't even, you don't only gain, like, get stretch marks, um, losing weight you mm. well, even when you gain weight like mm. i know like, grow. Just yeah, like when you grow, grow yeah so like um i too have like a couple of my own um and yeah like I, i've understood like because i i was quite a small kid like mm. i was i was very small so as i like grew older and like obviously i started like doing like the exercise and stuff like that and i saw it okay like okay what's happening and you know i, I learned to embrace it. it's the journey that you did not necessarily okay yes it is stretch marks but a lot of people actually they, they fought, they fought, they fought like nail and tooth, and you know, mm. those are their, their literal... Their battle marks. Okay. Do you care if girls are shaved down there or not? Yeah, I, I do. I do care. Um, I, I feel like it's, 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 it'd be great um, if, if, you know, like not only for like your, your, like your hygiene, but like also like my person, like, you know, if we, especially we're like together in an intimate way you know they say it's good for you it's good for me mm. if you expect me to be whilst we are having like, oh. <laughs> these questions are having you <laughs> you know what whilst we're having our, our our time together you know uh, yeah i feel like it's healthy it's healthy for the both of us so i i really do mind mm. yeah like if she be like like yeah proper um treat like it it's it, it was it's a been a weird these like, down, down there, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay yeah. wait got to question um how do you feel about body hair on a woman body hair like armpits legs like you know like, like down there is for functionality yeah, right yeah. we get it like okay wait, when you want to do your thing yeah. you want to be able to like you know what i mean yeah. But what about armpit hair, leg hair, which does not get in the way of whatever you yeah. need to do? Like, you know, there's uh, there's females that I know that are just generally like hairy and stuff. Um, it's just how you treat it, man. Like, you know, uh, like if it, it, you don't just leave it there, it's just like chilling. Like it's just there. Like, you know, like maybe obviously if you take the, like the necessary hygiene, like hygiene steps to to trim or to to wax or whatever you do. Um, yeah, like I, I can't. We can't change the fact that you're hairy. We can't change that. However, we can sort of prevent it from like, um, you know, being a lot, and then like you know you could. Yeah. You know, so you're not a fan of like a lot of body hair on on. Like, and by me and by body hair, I don't mean I mean like armpits and legs. Like like bush and stuff. Like it, a, like a whole bush or like just. I think you know that one depends on the person. There are some people who can grow a lot of armpit hair, yeah. but there are some people who it will never be more than. Yeah. It'll only I'm, be small, like yeah. it, you know what I mean. Yeah. It'll never be like hair that like sticks out like this. It'll just be those few. Yeah. yeah. Those. <laughs> <laughs> so it's it's not it's not the it's not the spikes. It's the like. Um, oh. Nah, I mean, no, no. As, as long as it's it's treated, man. Like, it, mm. obviously, you don't leave it there. Like, you're just like, wow, and like we're like, mm. no, like, no, like, yeah. As long as you're treating it, like, that's that's basically it. Like, if you leave it there, maybe it will be a, like a problem for. Because I'm thinking now, hygiene wise, like, are you hygienic and stuff like that? But mm. if it's yeah, if it, it's hair, hair is hair, man. Like, as long as it's not like problematic. I think. In terms of leaving hair, I think that's another thing that I think we've just been so programmed to think in a certain way. I went on a journey to try and understand. So I grew up being told hair is bad and you should cut it, especially as a woman, you know. And I, so I, when, I, when I grew up, I don't believe in just following things because I was taught it. I want to understand for myself and make my own opinion. And then I realized that there are people who have armpit hair by choice and they leave it there and they are not unhygienic they wash and they don't smell there's this perception that like yeah, if you have armpit yeah, hair yeah, you're gonna smell horrible yeah. there are people who don't have who have armpit hair and will not smell horrible they'll smell at the end of the day because you know people tend to smell but it won't be like oh my gosh what's going <laughs> on you know but are having armpit hair having leg hair is not the same thing as being unhygienic it could it, it could actually be your choice and i've seen videos where people 
express the benefits of having their hair there and that it actually doesn't even harm you. I think it's a, a personal decision and mind you, by personal decision, you have a right to not be attracted to, 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 to um, underarm and, and leg hair. Mm. And you have a right to be attracted to it, you have a right to keep it, and you have a right to get rid of it. At the end of the day, as long as you're doing your thing, you and your partner are happy, you communicate, don't know what you must, don't know what you want to, you know what I mean? True. What's wrong with dating an older woman or taller girl? Would you date an older woman? Yeah, I would, yeah. Would you date a taller girl? Taller than me or like same height? Taller than you. Or maybe same height but taller in heels. Yo, uh, no, no, no. Um, it's a, yo, it's a, no. Okay, in terms of women, I don't mind. I don't mind like older women. Um, I don't, I don't mind. Um, however, taller, yeah, I think I think that one would be a bit. Uh, yeah, like personally for me, it would be a bit. It would be a bit like off because like I enjoy. Um, yeah, I enjoy like the whole you know towering and stuff like that and. You know, just the fact that I'm like now looking up at you and like I'm the one that's like on my tippy toes to kiss you and hug you and stuff and be <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it'd be it'd be very it'd be very different for me and um I'm so used to like a certain so yeah mm. I'd, I'd rather avoid that then then yeah. So it's just because you like how it makes you feel being taller. That's all. I think it's just also like a preference thing. I think, mm. like I said before, you know, I'm so used to to having someone like shorter and mm. like yeah, and then something that new. It's like, uh, but hey, you never know. Actually, love, love, love is blind. Yeah, love is blind, guys. Like I, I'm here saying all of this. You never know. You really next never thing, know. Like hey, your girl thing. is WNBA. Day, day, man. You know? I'm just. I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> like come over here. <laughs> Yeah, I'm the one that's over, she's yeah. under. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, you never know, guys. Love, love yeah, love, love conquers all. Let's just listen to it. Love conquers all. So, do you know why, in general, um, as a man having man friends, why guys don't prefer a taller or older women? I think okay. some guys are willing to have an, a sexual experience with older women, yeah. date older yeah. women, but when it comes down to marrying and settling yeah. down, they're not no, interested no, in it. No, yeah. Um, yeah, like it. You you are right. You are right about that. Like guys would, they are more interested in actually like engaging and all that stuff. Mm. Like that. But then in terms of engagement and marriage and stuff, it's like you know, mm. you know. Um, in terms of like the top, like it's like same with me. You know, like most of the guys are like they would like to be you know that height differences. And all, I think also like society plays such a role. I'm I'm so sorry to put this out, but society plays such a role. Like you know the whole uh, short um, like mm. short girl, big mm -hmm. you know teddy bear guy, and that is that is seen as you know the the, the, the perfect like relationship, physic like physically like appealing and stuff like that. Um, and then anything else outside of that spectrum is just a bit off. Yeah. So I, I won't lie, I am I, I, I do accept that I am one of those victims to that, you know. I yeah, also it's to be hard part to of break it. out of it. I'd also be part of like that yeah. yeah. Unpopular opinion. Mm. Well, I don't know if this is a common opinion. I don't know if anyone agrees with me. But I think that society masculinizes certain features. Yeah. I think height True. is masculinized. I don't know if masculinize is the word, but like when you try being these things, try being a uh, tall black dark skinned woman because people masculinize dark skin people masculinize height yeah. now if you are a tall dark skinned black woman even if you are soft people will still find a way to masculinize you because of your height and that's a hard one like for me I would say I experienced that because when I was growing up I was like much darker and I was like the tallest one and the things that people call you they just they cease to see you as a woman yeah. You know what I mean? It's just when I've gotten older and I embrace myself and everything. But it's like, I mean, you can be girly, but people will still choose to treat you as if you're some kind of a man, True. you know? True. I and feet, because the taller you are, you're gonna have, chances are, chances are, <laughs> you're going to have uh, is it longer feet. Longer feet yeah. And then yeah. another thing, masculinized. Yeah, <sighs> there's hands and there's, there's just all these things. And just like, just so much society, 
has put on like like us even like especially like guys like oh no and also like females are saying stuff like no i don't want a short guy and oh my goodness short guys no mm. uh, i want i want to yeah if he's not a six foot if he's not like he's not six feet he's not tall like so what happens like a, i'm not like you know all the five eleven guys and it, like so they are not men like what are they you know they mm. have like all the organs necessary you know they they are biologically men but just because they have like they height. don't have the height that you yeah. want you know maybe they don't have the stuff like facial hair and all these things like it's just yeah society has really just has really impacted us really and there's a lot of people like she said that uh they've not accepted or they've not like admitted that yes i'm a victim of it um however i'm gonna speak for myself i mm. i am especially with regards to having the tall, like a taller um, mm. um partner yeah, it is really, like society has really impacted me on that. Yeah. It only wants you, so many people, and you don't even realize it, you live a life that you do not control yourself. You find yourself falling into height stereotypes, into beard stereotypes, into um, light skin, dark skin, like so many stereotypes and, and, and hair stereotypes that you don't even realize that you're not thinking for yourself. Yeah. You think. Oh, that's just what I want. But if you look into it, that's because that's what TV said, that's what your mom said, that's what your friend said. But have you ever stopped to think for yourself and say, but what do I like? Do I actually mind tall, short, tall women, short men? Do I actually mind body hair? And only once you ask yourself those questions and you engage, will you be able to realize that, wait a minute, I am subject to mind control and now I have to unlearn and design my own life instead of just following what they said for me. Because if you follow society, bro, you will be depressed. Yeah. Because we are not living in a perfect society. We have so many flaws in this place. And if you can't think for yourself, you will never live a good life. Like it, it just all stems down to accepting. Like you, like you know, admitting that yes, I, 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 I am a victim to all the stereotypes in society and I need to be really like real with myself so you take the time to actually be with yourself truthfully no social media no magazine no tv and be like what what do I like yeah and then if yeah. you don't know what you like try and find out what yeah. you like you know try different things you know you don't just be narrow you know try yeah. different things you may find that you know what you actually um may have not been open to initially something that probably works for you the most so yeah, you really need to admit, accept, and then be open to, to try. That's it for today, guys. I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. And I will be back with more videos. If you want to see him again, comment down below. But if you don't want to see him again, guys, I won't tell him. Just, just let me know. Just to, uh, blink twice in the comments. Let me know. And, you know, I'll, I'll do the right thing for you guys. Peace and love, guys. Thank you so much, guys, for having me. Thank you, B. Ciao. Bye. Thank you.